rest of the year be like, especially winter? Yeah, at first it was looking like La Nada rather than La Nina. Our chief meteorologist, Kristen Van Dyke here. Break it all down for us here, Kristen. Yeah, you know, the La Nina watch was canceled because like, eh, it's going to be a boring neutral year, but not anymore. It looks like La Nina is right around the corner. Who could forget last winter's washout? Day after day, storm after storm. Mother Nature socked us with the wettest winter on record. The city was soaked. The slopes were snow packed. So, will we see a repeat of that this season? A lot of it depends on what happens off our coastline. More rain here on the Oregon coast, but you can expect to see more than normal this winter if La Nina plays out, and it's looking more and more likely that that's going to happen. The ocean water, thousands of miles off our coast, is starting to cool down, and that changes the position of the jet stream, putting us in the line of fire, meaning more storms, cooler than normal temperatures, and potentially a lot more snow. And that's a forecast that's music to the ears of Mount Hood Meadows and Dave Tragathon. You know, if there's any place that's going to be guaranteed to have good base and, and good snow conditions over the course of the season, you know, we're standing right here at Mount Hood. Good doesn't even begin to describe the last season here, and that's something the mountain needed. <laughs> if you take a look at the 2015-16 season, which we just completed, we roughly had twice the amount of snow that we received the previous year, the 2014-15 season. The reason for that was El Nino, which isn't known for bringing a huge snowpack to the Pacific Northwest, but Mother Nature sometimes does strange things. The snow started and it never seemed to stop. As a result, Mount Hood got over 430 inches and is hoping for more of the same this season with a La Nina on the horizon, which typically means a cold and wet winter. But we love anything that says La Nina on it because <laughs> yeah. that usually means it's a little bit colder and that uh, um, you know, we're going to get more, more snow, snow. And, and a good quality of snow. So we're, we're kind of banking on that. During a normal winter in the Pacific Northwest, the snow piles quickly. And by the time we get to the holiday season, the snow base is about eight feet deep or at least to the top of these stairs. And that's what Mount Hood and other resorts are begging for this year. That cold, snowy winter that'll turn this resort into a winter wonderland. And we sure hope so. So this is what a typical Pacific Northwest winter looks like when you have a La Nina. Cooler than average temperatures. You have more low elevation snow and ice and more chances to pick up some of that snow and ice in the valley. And then, of course, wetter than normal conditions because we get hit by more storms. And then at the ski resorts, above average, average snowpack. So that's a typical La Nina. One thing to keep in mind, it looks like it's going to be a really weak La Nina. So the impacts may not be as extreme, but either way, uh, it's something to get excited for, if, especially if you like to ski. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that was a great report. Thank Love you. That. What about yeah, a white Christmas? Fun. Do we yeah. know if oh. we'd see any snow here? For a white Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Let me get my little magic ball out here. <laughs> Everybody get ready. No, I would say the, the chances are probably like 1%. Well, a few out. years.